Hey everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth with Bearded Narwhal, and um, as you can see by our minus nine win streak, the stream did not go nearly as well as I was hoping. <laughs> the, um, it's very difficult to beat the game with Blue Baby now. I did not have nearly this much trouble in Isaac 1. Sissy Long Legs is pretty good. Random Spider Generation. And I'm hoping to make up for that on this run. Because I really want the D6. I've had it told to me how to get it now. So I, I really want it. What you have to do is beat Isaac in the Cathedral with Blue Baby. Really difficult. Gonna try though. Okay, this room's not too worrisome. Just a bunch of flies. Tinted rocks. None that I can see. Gurglings! I get the feeling my random uh, spider generation is going to help me out here. Spiders, please. Ooh, I think a spider killed the gurgling. Oh, we almost got through there without getting hurt. That was amazing. And then we got hurt twice right at the end. Tears plus shot speed. Okay, well, a tears upgrade is very nice. So I'll take it. Let's try right here. Oh, okay. Well, that means we leave. I should have done this right here. There was a chance that there was something in there, but... And we would have gotten two cents, but I'm not too worried about it. I figured I'd try for the secret room. Because I haven't got many of the Seeker Room items, to be honest. Alright, Sissy Long. Okay, now I wish I had saved that bomb because here's a Tinted Rock. Are you really just gonna stay in there? <laughs> Seriously. There we go. Okay, that's wonderful for us. Now we can drop that there. Ooh. Oh man, even more ooh. Ten cents, it's pretty good. Five cents away from making the shop worth it, although we would need another key. In fact, we need two keys on this floor, but let's not talk about that until we get there. Okay. I don't think we should fight our boss yet. We should try to get a little stronger before we... There's two locked rooms, so one of them's got to be, like, a library. Dangerous. 
Hey, it look, looks like we might never figure it out because we have uh, no keys, so. Hey, spider, could you? Yep, there we go. Sissy Long Lakes, please give birth. Thank you very much. Oh, she had two spiders. There we go. We earned toothpicks, which is a tears up and a shot speed up. We got the pentagram, which I'm totally gonna take because our tears are crazy right now. So now four tears, two damage. What does this raise it to? Four tiers, three damage. And that's all we can do on this floor. I'm not going into the curse room because I don't want to waste one of my hearts. Let's be... Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, tears up. Are we almost at, like, quote unquote max tears up now? It's gotta be close. I mean, it says we have three. Three left, but. Look at how fast we're firing. Okay, and our damage directly reflects onto our spiders as well, so. It made a sissy. Sissy Long Legs, a better item, which is awesome. I think it's double your damage is equal to what the spiders do. could get a key I'd be so happy oh. please anything a bomb if it put a key on that I would have been so pissed very funny on these guys. Okay. Now I'm very happy I didn't go to the item room. I mean, not the item room, the curse room on the last floor because we would have died. Sister Maggie. Well, I guess it's technically a damage up. DPS total. There's a bomb, that's nice. Can we use that bomb back here? Not in this room. On this room. Back here. To get this out of there. There's a key. And enough sense to make a shop work. Alright. Let's do it. Give us bigger spiders and flies. Soul Converter. It's literally worthless for us. I got my key back. I tried it on the last run, 
Which is why I know it's worthless. I didn't just assume. I tried it in the uh, stream, I think. Or, on, or in one of yesterday's episodes? I didn't see that fly because it was behind his health bar. Jesus juice, and I'm pretty sure I can't take anything here. It's Krampus. This is dangerous, isn't it? We killed Krampus, we got his head. Now don't be afraid of using it, because we need it to, to like, survive. So, okay. Now where are we? Right next to an arcade, and that room. Got a dime. Two keys. Red hearts. I can see forever is potentially very useful. It gave us, it should give us, anyway, sight over the secret rooms. Is there, okay, it's not on either side of that. Wall spiders. I used Krampus' head as a safety, as a safety net. Okay. Oh man, spiders. Extra key. Getting really stressed out. Okay, we've got another Krampus head. Say we go to this room with. Oh man, yeah. That's what I was hoping to do with it. Oh, my reflection. It's technically a tears up. So, we've got max tears now. Son of a... Let's start again. One more blue baby run to rule them all. And if I don't win this time, I'm going to resign blue baby for a little bit. Oh my god, the wafer. The wafer... Isn't that useful now? But if we actually get this to be a run where we're on, like, the, the womb, it is going to be the best. The wafer, for those unfamiliar, is an item that halves, that removes a half heart of damage, rounding up to the nearest half heart. So, on these rooms, we're still going to take a half heart because it has to be at least one half heart. But on later rooms, when they're dealing full hearts of damage, we're going to be taking a lot less.
Also, that blue aura looks so nice. And there was a uh, marked rock in this room, so we need a bomb at some point. Hey, bombs. 25 cents. Are you... Really? First floor quarter. First floor famine. Not the end of the world. You need three more horsemen for that. got the hay head now. All of bandages. And a spirit heart. Beautiful. No bombs. That's fine. Okay with it. to the next floor. Cellar 2. Spider plus uh, one special diglet. Just some keys. Bomb is also nice. Pretty fly is amazing, actually. There's our key. Play until we have 15. Okay, that's worthless. It's fine, though. Oh, anemia? Yeah, anemic. Now when we take damage, we will leave creep for the rest of that room. It's nice. It's not amazing. <laughs> okay, there's a um, tinted rock right here. Oh, we got double bombs back from it. Thank you, bowl of bandages. One left. None of those rocks are marked. in here. Not that I can see. Let's explore the rest of this floor first. Because we might trade some health away, and I'd like to know exactly where we're sitting if I do that. Nine cents. I'm willing to gamble. It's 
So now I know I could have traded my... I could have used my key on the shop, then used two bombs to get into the item room. I did not have that knowledge before, so unfortunately I wasn't able to utilize it. Me a key? Wow. Two pretty flies off of this machine. You know what? You've been good for us, but it's time. Good night. We're gonna save that 15 cents for the next four. Hopefully. In! Bandages. Got him with ball bandages. That's a lot of money. Oh, my God. Guppy. Pick it up before this one takes a sleeve. Oh my god. So Guppy's paw is worthless for us. However, we now have Guppy's paw on our um, record. So if we get two more Guppy items, we become the Gup, destroyer of worlds. Ooh, okay. Nope. <laughs> Trying to be a little too brave with a ball of bandages, but... It's fine. If I had a full ring of damaging ward rolls, it would be amazing. I think the pretty flies just block tears. They don't really uh, do anything special against anything else. Okay, we've got a key. Depending on... Um, I'd actually prefer to go to the shop in this case. We have enough money that if there is a key, we'll buy it. There's our shop. We turned all tarot cards into pills, because most of the tarot cards, beside, short of the Hierophant, are not very good as Blue Baby. Because the sun doesn't heal you, the lovers doesn't give you, um, doesn't heal you either, because it doesn't give you red hearts. I mean, it doesn't give you soul hearts, so it's completely worthless for Blue Baby. Um, and then two of hearts can't double red hearts because you have none. So I think it's... Eh, I don't know if playing cards are gone. I know tarot cards are gone now that I have uh, this bag of pills. God. Immortal eyeless worms. Gluttony.
Thank you, pretty fly. Twice. Thank you, pretty fly, for a third time. Just you two. Wonderful. Okay, two uh, meatloaf dudes, not so bad. is so good it's like a dead crow with a better AI and it all like it's always active you don't have to get hurt oh and it can fear things by the way which isn't as good as I first thought it was it doesn't work the way it did in the last one because they still attack you if there's like they, they still throw out attacks now they don't just like slide away which is really unfortunate to rock. Because uh, some bosses still, like, are just as hard, even feared. If not harder, because they're unpredictable. <laughs> like, they just act weird. They're not particularly uh, agitated by being feared, is my main point. Okay, little honk, get in there. See, he still spawns stuff. Oh man, that's really hurting my eyes. Oh sh- Oh my god, Pestilence, stop. That green flashing. If you have problems with, like, epilepsy or something, I truly recommend looking away at this juncture. Or if you have photosensitivity or something. Because I just- I got a huge headache at that point. All of Bandage is part two! <gasps> Look who it is! It's Bandage Girl! I figured it was like, um, Cube of Meat except a uh, Bandage Girl theme. Man. I started getting, like, tunnel vision on that fight. That was intense! Uh, the flashing colors were... a little over the top, to be quite honest. Compass. Where are we? Caves part two. Give us scat hole, man. Scat hole. Counterfeit penny has appeared in the basement. I didn't know that was needed to be unlocked. Game minimized, I apologize for that. Okay, curse skull. Forcing my hand with these uh, triple red chest rooms, boss trap room. I hope I don't have to fight Gertie, because my eyes seem really sensitive tonight.
Does she have charming? <gasps> Bandage girl has charming tears. Okay, what's our next boss? Champion Peep. Range down. Bad guess. After this, all I have to do is uh, record Ziggurat. Why? What's up? Okay, I'll see you in a bit. It won't take too long. Alright. Oh man. I don't like this room too much. Bandage girl, do it. If I got if I got Meat Boy, Doctor Fetus, and uh, Bandage Girl all on the same run, I would be very happy because all of the references. Oh, there's a dice room. If that was a reroll, everything would I take it? Maybe. I'd venture to say yes. Because it's fun. Pinky eye. Let's go and check out this room. Just in case. Under thighs is so good. We're slow now, though. Not sure what one does. One did reroll everything we have. We have Ludovico. Okay. So, okay. So we have E. coli. The way you the way you check it in my experience, is start with the last item you see that you know you had before. We had the wafer, the penny, the ball of bandages, anemia, and that's the last one we had. So, E. coli, mask of infamy, we had the bag of pills, so, I, whatever, um, rotten baby, brimstone baby, uh, we had the ghost, so that's gone. Uh, big fly? I'm assuming um, the thunder thighs is gone. We have knockback tears and Ludovico. But what's that effect? It's so fast. We have Gemini. That's what that other one is, I think. Okay, I can dig it. We're poisoning. What do we have that poisons? Do we get common cold? Man, I don't know. Is 
This weird run just got weirder. Brimstone Baby is really weird with um, Ludovico technique. Dog food, deal with the angel. Miter. Um, we have Bobby Bomb now. That's new. And what else do we have on this floor? We have a shop. Let's just keep going. What a weird reroll. I'm gonna try to not use Brimstone Baby and only try to use uh, Ludovico Technique because it's too hard to actually use Brimstone Baby, unfortunately. And it's better to have Ludovico working than Brimstone Baby. Yeah, we definitely have E. coli now. E. coli is whenever we touch someone. Oh, we have... um. We have pinky eye. That's why we're poisoning sometime. <laughs> Puberty. Do we have spider bite? Yeah, spider bites on that list. So we have slowing tears too. Not sure where the yellow tears came from. Is number one in there? Yeah, it is. We have number one, which I guess that is why we're hitting so fast with it. Oh my, the miter. Doing good stuff for us here. And I, as I said in the stream today, Gemini is by far one of my favorite familiars. And I'm in one of those situations where I really shouldn't be paying attention to it. And I'm not because it's so easy to control. My problem right now is that I'm losing track of my... I have no idea what that does. I'm losing track of my Ludovico in the midst of all the stuff going on. Okay, confirmed. When you use... Two spades. Um, when you use the... Uh... Oh, why did I do that? Oh, I can't justify using that. Yeah, when you get the bag of pills... Tarot cards are gone. But the, um... The playing cards remain. The meat, more damage up. That's wonderful. I guess the health up is the most important part there. We didn't see our item room. I think we should.
What's this? Triple shot. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I had no idea that would actually have an effect. The fool? Eh. Okay. So now we have triple shot with our... That's really cool. Didn't mean to open that lock, but it's not a huge deal. <laughs> that is so cool. I, I never even thought that that would be what that did. Put a bomb here, just in case. Nope. Alright. Well, I will be on my way shortly. Amazing. This run is crazy. What would Soy Milk plus Ludovico look like? Just one tiny tier that hits super fast? Or would it be more like a crowd of tears. The world may never know. So this reroll may be the most interesting reroll I've seen on mine. As well trade two one for two. Why is this on the wall? I figured I might as well see if it was special. E. coli. Okay. Let's get something out of you. We can't push that out of the way with our tears because we have Ludovico. It's kind of trippy. That triple orbit. Right. Okay. Nothing there. Yeah, I'll do this one. It was worth it from a bomb perspective. I don't see any tinted rocks. Why'd you pause? I keep forgetting about Rotten Baby, but I'm sure that's helping out in the background as well. Bomb fight.
We're at max health right now. I'd rather not spend three spirit hearts on nothing. And I don't think we have the wafer anymore, so... Little flying buttholes. Range down, no thank you. Don't think it'll really affect us that much, but... Took a little longer to kill that guy than I was hoping. Oh, lied to that one. Any marked rocks in here? Not that I can see. Mm, there's one right here. A small rock has appeared in the basement. Oh my. Small rock hype. We don't have it, but it's in the basement. Never fear. Two gurgling rooms. Oh right, we don't have the pill bag anymore, so the cards are back. So maybe I was wrong about um playing cards staying in. That charge was pitiful because he was slowed. Just keep it moving. Thank you, Gemini. <laughs> Man. This guy. Let's kill his wall friends first. Okay. Well, this is gonna be a long fight. I don't know if it's going to be a necessarily hard fight. Figured out how to use a mini brimstone. Charge it up like this, and then let it go. Wow, do we really need more more tears up? Alright, well, we can't take that soul heart. Is this gonna be the run that we beat Isaac? The run that Blue Baby got a random room and we ended up getting really weird synergies? I hope so. There's a heart we can come back and get. That's a lot of poop. That shouldn't be in the womb. Okay, I think I might see another X rock. No, I was wrong. Okay, no more. And what is in here? Nothing I want. Thank you.
Okay, you guys just stay on that side of the poop. Good night. <laughs> wow. Look at all that money. Dirty Junior. What's hurting everything on the room when we get hurt? Okay, we need to go back and get that spirit heart now. Soul heart. Yeah, we don't have the wafer. The aura's gone, so I should have known. Ugh. He lost it immediately. That's how that goes, though. None of those are marked. Oh. Explosive diarrhea is one that we could use, potentially. It's better than carrying around a range down, at least. Okay, it lives. Okay, we slowed mom's heart. That makes those tears very easy to deal with. And a uh, big protector fly is doing work for us. Just leave Ludovico on and we'll be okay. Yep. Up to the cathedral. I'm kind of scared. But I'm going to be so happy if this works out. Oh. We have the miter, so we should have a pretty decent chance. Oh man. <laughs> we should have a pretty decent chance of getting ourselves a, uh, a couple soul hearts on our way. Yeah, I'm gonna be on the lookout for um, marked rocks. Because I don't know if I can see them on the, uh, on the cathedral. There they are. Might as well just use mini brimstone on this room. Okay, any marked rocks? Look for an X. I don't see anything. Gish! They can only shoot diagonally.
Should have known it was through the other big room. Nope. You know what? Can we bomb our way through? Can. Oh no. Bullet. Bomb flies. Looking for X's again. Don't know what they would look like on the womb. Not the womb. The cathedral. Okay, we have to come in here. Double wrath. And super wrath. Okay, Gemini, show this guy what's up. Got him slowed. Double super wrath as well, huh? Get you. Gonna get you. There we go. <laughs> what you running from, Super Wrath? That wasn't so bad. Oof. Dub Loki. There is a tinted rock. Right next to my Ludovico, there's a little X on that rock. I dare say that is a uh, veritable tinted rock. Yep. Oh, ho. oh my god, that's so good. Oh, mini brimstone. Why are you so good? Oh, normal wrath. Really? Gonna bomb over there? What else are you going to do? <laughs> oh my god. We're so close. This run has the potential to be so beautiful. Oh, Mask of Infamy just blocked a shot. I totally forgot that we probably have Mask of Infamy. Okay, for some... Oh, we took the negative. And you know what the negative probably does? It's the opposite of the Polaroid. Whenever you get hit at a half a heart, instead of getting invulnerability, you get damage to the whole room. So Blue Baby is a nuke every time we get hit. Oh man. Dirty synergy is syn is dirty. Oh man, with black hearts, that's gotta be like crippling for the enemy. <laughs> Thank you, Rotten Baby, for constantly spitting out tears. You're my favorite. Widow. Please give us the boss room soon. Dirty Jr. in the boss room. Oh no. Can't afford to be taking damage like that. We have seven hearts to kill Isaac. Oh my god. I'm shaking. I was so excited. Oh, keep him slowed. What is that? 
Oh my Jesus. No. No, please. No, please. So call me crazy. My strategy was to keep um, our fat fly on him. So we're going to kind of do this um, counterclockwise rotation against Isaac. What is the hell? What are you doing, Isaac, my friend? This is not classic Isaac, and I'm happy about it. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Oh, where do we... Oh! I dodged it! Oh! <laughs> okay, right here? Yeah. Oh man, we even mini brimstoned him. Um, right here. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Polyphemus! Would have been so nice. But we killed Isaac. And my achievement tells me the glory that is the D6 is attainable now. Isaac now holds the D6. And it looks like we built a piece of the Polaroid. So now, when we play Isaac, we can reroll items. And if we look at Blue Baby, he now has a right side up cross, which stands for his uh, Isaac kill. Oh, that feels so good. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry you had to struggle through so many lost Blue Baby runs, but hopefully that very interesting Blue Baby run makes it all worth it. Um, if you guys like the video, please let me know by physically liking the video. If you want to see more in the future, please join us again tomorrow for another episode of The Binding of Isaac. And, oh my god, this has been Bearded Narwhal. I'll see you guys next time.